Hey everybody, hello, a very good afternoon and welcome back to our channel Info Island and also welcoming you guys to our daily current affairs segment where we bring you the latest news from all around the corners of the world that includes all the events, all the news that take place almost everywhere nationally as well as internationally. So guys, today what are we going to do in this video? We are going to be discussing some of the current affairs related to the defense sector and all of all those questions who were uh, recently there in the highlights and made it to today's updates we are going to uh, we are going to be sharing in uh, this particular video so guys as you are aware it's the 21st of june uh, sorry it's 15th of july 2023 today and yes we have gathered almost every possible uh, you know a recent update related to the defense sector and uh, yes, we have brought up this particular video for you guys in order to help you in your daily preparation. I am Jyoti, your host and your dose, welcoming you all to this Defense Current Affairs video. So now, uh, without any further ado, let's move into the video and start up with today's current affairs questions and answers. So let's begin. So yes, first things first, as uh, we discuss the questions firstly, and then moving ahead in the video, we will be looking for the answers of these top 10 questions. So let's move into the questions first. First up, we have uh, what is Dunagiri, which was recently launched by the Union Defense Minister. And your options are, option A is Stealth Frigate, option B, Anti-Ship Missile, option C, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or is it the option D, that is Submarine. I hope you guys have guessed the correct answers and whether or not you guys are right or not, we will be sharing the answers after these questions so that you will be in a position to know how much do you know about these current affairs related to the defense sector? How much knowledge do you possess of the defense sector? So, so time for our next question. That is question number two. The border guards Bangladesh, that is BGB in short, and the border security force, that is BSF in short, Border conference was recently hosted in which of the following cities? And your options are option A, Dehradun, option B, Guwahati, option C, Dhaka, or is it the option D, that is Chattogram? Time for our next question, that is question number three. Indo-Tibetan Border Police, that is ITBP, has created its first mountain warfare training center in northeast India in which of the following state? And your options are option A, Arunachal Pradesh, option B, Sikkim, option C, Assam, or is it the option D that is Meghalaya? Moving to the next question. Question number four. Indian Navy conducted a maritime partnership exercise that is MPX in short with which of the following country in the Andaman Sea? And the options are option A, China, option B, Japan, option C, USA, or is it the option D, France? Next up, we have question number five. Ministry of Defense, that is MOD in short, has fast tracked the indigenization of SDRs with DRDO and IIT Kanpur. 
So here when we talk about the SDRs, so what is the expansion of SDR here? And your options are, option A, sustainable defense radios. Option B, software defined radios. Option C, spectrum for defense radios. Or is it the option D, that is segregated defense radios. I hope you guys have guessed the correct answers. And by the time, if you guys haven't guessed the answer yet, by the time you're guessing the correct answer, let's look for the next question. That is question number six. Which of the following shipyard built India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, that is Vikram? And your options are option A, Cochin Shipyard, option B, Mazgon Dock Shipbuilders, option C, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, or is it the option D, Hindustan Shipyard? Next up, we have question number 7. Which out of the following is the location of the 12th edition of the Defense Expo? And your options are option A, Mesuru, option B, Gandhinagar, option C, Pune, or is it the option D that is Vishakha Pachna? Time for our next question, that is question number 8. Which of the following organization manufactures Tejas Mark II fighter jets? And the options are option A, DRDO, option B, BEL, BEL, Option C, HAL or is it the option D that is VDL? Moving to the next question that is question number 9. What out of the following is the name of the third stealth brigade? built as a part of the project 17A which was recently launched and the options are option A Virat, option B Taragiri, option C Mohan Mahindra Mahindragiri or is it the option D, Virgiri? Let's move to the next question. That is question number 10, which is the last and the last question of today's current affairs video. Which of the following Indian armed force conducted the Parvat Prahat exercise? And your options are option A, Indian Air Force, option B, Indian Army, option C, Indian Navy, or is it the option D, that is Indo-Tibetan Border Police.
ओके गाइस सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द टॉप टेन क्वेश्चन ऑफ टूडेज करंट अफेयर्स वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द डिफेंस सेक्टर दैट वी हैव ब्रॉड अप फॉर यू गाइस इन ऑर्डर टू बूस्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स दैट यू आर अंडर गोइंग सो येस बाय नाउ आई एम गेसिंग दैट यू गाइज हैव गेस्ट द करेक्ट आंसर एंड इफ यू डू नो and even if you do not know we are here to provide you with the answers uh, after watching the answers you will be in a position to realize that this much percentage of knowledge you do possess in the sector when it comes to defense sector so yes let's move further in the video and look for the answers and yes the uh, with the each correct answers you are going to add plus 1 for your uh, correct answers and for minus 1 for your wrong answer so that in the end you will come to know by 10 out of uh, how many numbers do you possess so for question number 1 we have the correct answer and that is option a stealth frigate Defence Minister Mr Rajnath Singh launched the P17A stealth frigate Dhunagiri which is named after a mountain range situated in Uttarakhand It was built by PSU Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers P17A ships are guided missile frigates and Dhunagiri is the fourth P17A ship The first two ships of the P17A project were launched in the year 2019 and 2020 The third ship named Udaygiri was recently launched in Mumbai Next for question number 2 the correct answer is option number C Dhaka and all of you all who have mentioned option C as the correct answer who knows to them as they are absolutely correct The 52nd Border Guards Bangladesh which is BGB in short Border Security Force that is BSF Director General Level Border Conference started in Bangladesh in dhaka the indian team led by director general bsf mr pankaj singh arrived in dhaka for the conference the two sides discussed on border management smuggling of arms and ammunition drugs trafficking of women and children among others Next up we have the correct answer for question number 3 that is option B Sikkim The Indo-Tibetan Border Police that is ITBP has created its first mountain warfare training center in northeast India in Dombang Sikkim It is ITBP's second training center in the country to skill its troops in high altitude combat and survival tactics as part of their mandate to guard the line of actual control with china the first much the first such school mountaineering and skiing institute is at joshi math which is in short is known as M N S I, which is situated in Joshi Mat, and uh, which is there in the Himalayan ranges of Uttarakhand. Next, for question number four, we have the correct answer, and it's option B. And all of you all who have mentioned option B as the correct answer, they are. absolutely correct as japan is the answer 
A maritime partnership executive that is MPX was conducted between Japan Maritime Self Defense Force and the Indian Navy in the Andaman Sea. India's INS Sukanya, which is an offshore petrol vessel, and Japan's destroyer JS Samidari undertook several exercises, including seamanship activities, aircraft operations, and maneuvers as part of the exercise. Next up, we have the correct answers for question number five, and that is option B, software-defined radios. Ministry of Defense, that is MOD in short, has fast-tracked the indigenization of software-defined radios, that is SDRs, with the Defense Research and Development Organization, that is DRDO and Indian Institute of Technology, that is IIT Kanpur. It aims to fulfill the rising demand by the armed forces across a broad spectrum of operations. Two key elements of indigenous SDR technology are the standardized operating software environment, that is O in short, and applications, that is waveforms. Time for our next answer, and the correct answer for question number six is option A, Cochin Shipyard. India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, Vikrant, was built and delivered to the Indian Navy by Cochin Shipyards Limited, that is CSL. CSL, the public sector shipyard under the Ministry of Shipping, has built the carrier with 76% indigenization components. Vikrant will be commissioned into the Indian Navy as Indian Naval Ship INS Vikrant. Time for our next answer. And for question number seven, the correct answer is option B. That is Gandhi Nagar. And all of you all who have guessed option B as the correct answer, they, they are absolutely correct. The Ministry of Defense announced that the 12th edition of the Defense Expo will be held in Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat, between October 18 and October 22, 2022. So this particular activity has, hall, uh, has already taken place in the year 2022 between uh, the timeline of 18 October to 22 October. It is India's flagship exhibition on land, naval and homeland security systems. The theme for this edition is Path to Pride. Live demonstrations so showcasing the military equipment and skill set of the armed forces, defense PSUs and industry will be held at the Sabarmati Riverfront. Next for question number 8, we have the correct answer that is option C, HAL. The Cabinet Committee on Security, that is CCS, has approved the Tejas Mark II project. It has sanctioned 6,500 crore rupees for designing and developing of Tejas Mark II fighter jet. It is manufactured by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, that is HAL in short. The advanced version of the indigenous Tejas light combat aircraft that is LCA will feature a series of additions to its flight and fight capabilities. Tejas 2.0, which is the new version of Tejas, will be equipped with more powerful engines, 
and indigenously developed active electronically scanned array that is AESA radar. Next, for question number nine, we have uh, the correct answer, and that is option B, Taragiri. Taragiri, the indigenously designed Nilgiri class stealth guided missile frigate, was recently launched in Mumbai. Taragiri is the third stealth frigate built as a part of Project 17A, constructed by Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited, that is MDL. The ship is designed by the Indian Navy's in-house design organization, the Bureau of Naval Design, under which Project 17A, which is a series of guided missile frigates, are being constructed for the Navy. Next, which is the last answer for today's video and the correct answer for question number 10 is option B, Indian Army. The Indian Army is conducting a 20-day long exercise named Parvat Prahar. It is conducted amid the disengagement process between India and China in the Gogra Hot Springs area on the line of actual control, that is LAC. Indian Army Chief General Manoj Pandey reviewed exercise Parvat Prahar. The disengagement process follows the talks between the corps commanders of India and China. So guys, that's all about the questions as well as the answers of today's current affairs video in which we covered the, the current affairs related to the defense sector. Now it's time to share some of the abbreviations that we just saw in those questions as well as the answers. And yes, as I have told you earlier also, and I am going to tell you about this always that these abbreviations, they are of key importance with the perspective of your competitive exams. You know, when we talk about the competitive exams, when we talk about the government exams, it becomes all the more important for us to have, uh, you know, knowledge, have that knowledge of almost everything. Like, choti choti jo cheeze hoti hai na, uske baare mein bhi hume pata hona bohat zaruri hota hai, because we never know ki what kind of questions we are going to come across in the examination paper, because competitive exams mein A se leke Z tak anything and everything can come and uh, can arise. So yes, as I uh, always tell you, कि ये जो abbreviations होती हैं, ये दिखने में आपको आसान लगता है, लेकिन जब आपको उसका expansion नहीं पता होता, then it becomes all the more very difficult and very confusing. आपको चार क्या आपको दस भी options दे दिए जाएंगे ना, तब भी you will be like शायद ये हो सकता है, नहीं नहीं ये relatable है, नहीं नहीं ये हो सकता है, and you know and so on. So please इनके expansions को अच्छे से याद कर लीजिएगा. और चलिए शुरू करते हैं फिर आज के जो हम abbreviations लाए हैं at number one we have a BGP BGB and the expansion is border guards Bangladesh at number two we have a border BSF and the full form is border security force अब आप BSF का example ले लीजिए BSF is something that is very popular and very commonly used by each one of us लेकिन फिर भी क्या हम assure कर सकते हैं कि 100% लोगों को उसका आंसर पता होगा, no. एक टाइम ऐसा भी था जब मैं BSF, BSF करती रहती थी, but मुझे BSF का फुल फॉर्म ही नहीं पता था. And I was like, okay, इसका फुल फॉर्म ये होता है. और फुल फॉर्म से आपको हेल्प क्या मिलती है कि आपको उससे रिलेटेड, मतलब किस चीज से रिलेटेड है, अपने आप उसको आपका अंदाजा लग जाता है. तो अगर इससे रिलेटेड फिर आपको कोई क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है, then you will be in a position to answer कि okay, so this particular field is something which is related to this kind of terminology. So yes, BSF stands for Border Security Force. At number three, 
ITBP and the expansion of ITBP is Indo-Tibetan Border Police. At number four, we have MPX and the full form stands at Maritime Partnership Exercise. At number five, we have MOD and the full form here is Ministry of Defense. At number six, we have SDRs and the full form is software defined radios. And if you remove that S in the end, then it will become SDR simply. Next at number seven, we have DRDO and the full form is Defense Research and Development Organization. At number eight, we have BEL and the full form is Bharat Electronics Limited. At number nine, we have HAL and the full form is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Next at number 10, we have BDL and the full form is Bharat Dynamics Limited. At number 11, we have IAF and the full form is Indian Air Force. Next, at number 12, we have INS and the full form is Indian Naval Ship. At number 13, we have IIT and the full form is Indian Institute of Technology. Next, at number 14, we have CSL and the expansion of CSL is Cochin Shipyards Limited. Next, at number 15, we have CCS and the full form of CCS here is Cabinet Committee on Security. Next, at number 16, we have LCA and the full form is Light Combat Aircraft. Next, at number 17, we have AESA and the full form is Active Electronically Scanned Array. Next, at number 18, we have MDSL and the full form is Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited. And uh, that brings us to the last abbreviation of today's video. It's uh, LAC, which stands for Line of Actual Control. So guys, that's all about the abbreviations of today's video. Please, in abbreviations, ko achhe se yaad kar lije because 110 percent you might come across, you know, two or three or maybe more uh, abbreviations of this sort in your examination. So please. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's segment of daily current affairs video that we shared on the defense sector topic today. We hope you found this information helpful and informative and stay tuned with us for more such informative updates in the future also. And don't forget to keep yourself updated for the latest news and events that are happening all around us almost every day, every minute, every second. So as of now, just uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Info Island for more such beautiful and informative videos. And if you guys haven't like uh, subscribed it yet, do subscribe and also hit the bell icon for, uh, you know, be in being in touch with us. So as whenever we come up with a new video, you guys are notified about it by clicking to that bell icon. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please stay safe as Almost in every state, there is a flood kind of situation happening. In our Delhi also, people are like flooded with water in their homes, in uh, their offices, almost everywhere. So it's a critical situation, kind of crisis going on right now here in Delhi and at multiple other states also. So please do stay safe and all the very best to all the candidates. Follow us for more such informative video. Thank you so much. Let's stay together. And let's keep learning, keep sharing, and keep supporting each other 
the way we already are doing. Thank you.